Hey y'all, Johnny Mullen here with another video. Today we're going to do a range test on the Valfang UV5R. Uh, my buddy Branton came over to visit. I got a, another extended battery and uh, he wanted his UVS9 um, reprogrammed. Um, I have updated my um, software where uh, I added some more channels. So now I have... Uh, marine channels and a few other channels but anyway I've done range testing with these radios before and I didn't ever have a chance to actually video record it or make a video so um, since my buddy's coming over I'm gonna get his uh, updated and uh, program the channels and what we're gonna do is technically we're breaking the rules and we're gonna use FRS channel 1 um, frequency just for experimentation and uh, see what kind of range we get at. Now, the last couple of times I've done this, I was able to get about three and a half miles. So if we can get three and a half miles again for the test, that'll be awesome. So uh, let's uh, check these babies out and see how far we can get it going. Okay, pardon any background noise. Got a lot going on, but we're going to do a range test on the UV5R and the UVS9. UVS9 has a 771 antenna and the UV5R has a 701. So we're going to do a quick range test and see what happens. So uh, my buddy Branton here, he's going to jump in his uh, S10 pickup. You can see the CB antenna, but we're not doing CB today. We're going to do the handheld Baofeng range test. Now we did this range test before and we were able to get three and a half miles. Let's see what happens this time. All right, there he goes up the road. I am sorry for any wind noise. It is very windy today, but we're going to do the range test on the Baofeng UV5R. And we're going to do this radio to radio, and we're going to see what happens. Okay, Brent, you got a copy on the bullet man out here in Pierpont. It is very, very windy. Yeah, you're going through a little static but yeah, I can still hear you. Okay, we're hoping to beat the last record, which was three and a half mile range. If we can get uh, three and a half miles or more, I'd be happy. Yeah, it sounds better now than it did when I was close there. Well, you got to remember that uh, you are also inside a vehicle and not standing outside the vehicle, nor do you have an external antenna. Roger. Yep. All right, just the road there. Okay, roger that, and by the time you get up to uh, Graham Road, that'll be one and a half miles. We are transmitting on FRS Family Radio Service Channel 1. Technically, we are breaking the rules, but not really. Okay, loud and clear is all I need to know. So you should be approaching uh, Graham Road right about now at one and a half miles. I can see the signs for it, you know, but I'm not there yet. Okay, roger that. I'm guessing, um, I think after that is Beckwith Road, and that's uh, almost two miles. So that would be good. Uh, like I said, last time we did the radio test, you were heading south. This time we're going north. Roger. Okay, according to my radio, you're still giving me full bar, full signal, and not much static at all, so that's really good. By chance, do you have the antenna hanging out your driver's window, or are you just using the radio inside? Yeah, I just walked on top of you. Uh, repeat your transmission, sorry. Okay, that's a redneck term. Yeah, turn left at the guy's truck with no bed on it and go on up to the fruit stand. Okay, Beckwith Road is almost two miles. Uh, you broke up just a little bit, but not too bad. We're still coming. 
coming in pretty good. Yeah, that time the transmission was loud and clear, no problem, full bars. So we're going to continue this test and uh, hopefully we can get at least three and a half miles. I would be very happy with that. Okay, so uh, right now you should be past the hump and heading up to the uh, farm there. The big uh, farm on the right. Okay, roger that, roger that. Yeah, keep on transmitting because the farther you get away, the more chance I have to lose you. So I want to make sure we got the range right and everything is going good. So that old square body S10 is working pretty good for you, huh? Yeah, I can hear you. I get that farm on the right there. Okay, roger that on the farm on the right. That means you will be approaching Hildum Road, which will be pretty much max three and a half miles. That's a blue house with a white picket fence right now. Okay, roger that on the blue house of the white picket fence. You are approaching Hildum Road here real quick. That would be a three and a half mile mark. Okay, once you get past Hildum Road, the road starts to curve left and curve right and all kinds of weird stuff, but we'll see how long this goes. Okay, um, just transmit when you hit Hildum Road. That's three and a half miles. That's good for me. And right there, he almost made Hildum Road, so I'm guessing he was about three to three and a half miles, which is really good. He's still going, which is really good for a handheld radio to radio. If this was a standard FRS walkie-talkie that you buy at Walmart, there is no way we would have been able to talk at that range. Alrighty then, so... Very good, three and a half miles, about three and a quarter miles when he went north, but almost three and a half miles, which is very, very impressive for such a small radio, radio to radio communication. So very happy with that. Like I said, this was just for experimentation. I don't mean to, you know, break the rules and use a non-type accepted radio on a certain frequency. But like I said before, we're not bothering anybody. We're not interfering with anybody. There shouldn't be a problem. So, any hoot, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. We'll see you next time.